Hi, my name is Kayla and I help business owners with their QuickBooks Online. All right, in this video, I'm going to show you how to record a loan that you've taken out into QuickBooks and then also how to record the loan repayment. There's an important part there, um, an extra step there that a lot of people don't always realize. So it's important to do each step so that your reports in QuickBooks are accurate. All right, so first let's just add into QuickBooks about this loan. Now, if you use the bank feed, if you use the bank feed, then when you get this loan, it'll probably the deposit of this loan will probably show up if it was into if it was in a connected account. So let's say you have your business checking account connected, the loan was deposited into this business account, then the um, the deposit will show up here. So let me just get this is a sample company. So let me get a deposit so you can see what that would look like. Okay, let's put this back on here. Okay, so it was a sample company. So we're just going to pretend that you had a loan of, we're given a loan of $860.15. We'll just pretend it's some off number like that. So here we have this amount deposited into the account. So in this case, we can just record the loan itself. We can create the loan in QuickBooks just by recording it here. So let's say that the vendor, we'll select a vendor. Um, let's see, we'll just say the loan is from this vendor and the category, let's say we don't have a category in QuickBooks, so we need to create it. If you did, if you created a category, but there's nothing in it for the loan, then you would just select it from the list. But in our case, it's not, we don't have an option in our existing categories. So we'll say add new. So I'll go over that again. I just clicked here. Click the um, drop down, then click add new. And then we'll fill out these boxes here. So account type, account type, this is a loan. Now, which one? Because we have two different liabilities. So basically the difference is if you have a long-term liability is usually that you're gonna be repaying it for a while and it's gonna take over a year to fully repay this loan. So if that's the case, then you'll select it's a long-term liability. But if this loan for you, you know that you're gonna be repaying this loan within a year, then just select that it's a current liability. Okay, so most of the time they're long-term, so we'll select it's a long-term liability. Detail type, select which one applies. So if it's just maybe a bank loan, you could select this one, um, or you could just select other long-term liabilities. We'll give it a name. So this is, the name is where um, you can more call it what makes sense for you. So maybe the name of the company, the lender, um, maybe if it's a loan from, we'll just, just put the lender. So put that and then, so lender loan. So that's how we'll call it. But again, you just customize this to what makes sense. All right, and then we're gonna save and close. Okay, so now we've just recorded, we're gonna click add add this into QuickBooks. All right, so let's go see what that looks like. We're gonna to go to accounting on the menu, then chart of accounts. And we're gonna scroll down until we start seeing the liabilities. And there it is. So there's the one we just created and it's saying the balance is 816 cents. So in our case, that is accurate. All right, and then you can also click view register. You click view register, you'll see it like kind of a typical check register format. And you'll see the dates of this deposit, this, this loan was increased by this much, but as you repay it, then it'll, the repayments will show here on the decrease side and the balance will update to show how much you have left on the balance on this loan as you repay it. Okay, so now let's record a, a repayment of the loan. All right, and the other thing, you know, I'll show you real quick here. This is the register if you want to see it like this. You can also just go to reports and any loans will be on the balance sheet. So just a reminder, income expenses, that's on the profit and loss, but any, any assets, fixed assets, 
um, bank account balances, loans, how much you've taken out for, um, for to pay yourself, that's gonna be all on the balance sheet. So we'll click on that balance sheets. You might up top, you might have to change the date, but for us, the date filters are correct. And then we'll come down, find our loan. There it is, long-term liabilities, lender loan, and that is the balance as of today. Now let's record a repayment. We're gonna go to banking on the left. And again, assuming that you use the banking feature, when you repay the loan, it's probably going to show up if you have it in a connected account. So let's see, let's say that, um, let's see, yeah, let's say that we use the credit card to, to repay the loan. So here is an expense, and we're just gonna ignore again, it's a sample company, so we'll just ignore what they're saying it's for. So we'll pretend this description really says the name of the lender, and this downloaded from the bank, and this is what we paid. So let's say that we were just to select our lender, and our, or the vendor name, and then we pull up our loan. So we type in the loan to filter the list. We select loan and say, okay, great. This is the repayment of the loan. I'm just going to record it. So we add this in, but let's see what happens. So that was, I think, $150. So let's come back to the accounting and you can either go to the balance sheet or the register over in the chart of accounts here. So let's look at our register. So notice it originally was a loan amount, and now it's been decreased by $150. So it's saying, or QuickBooks thinks that, oh great, all you have left on this loan is 718 and 15 cents. But that's actually not true. Some of this payment, when you paid $150 towards the loan, some of it was interest, right? So some of it actually did reduce your loan balance, but some of it didn't. Some of it was just interest that doesn't count towards reducing your loan balance. So we need to do an extra step so we can show we did make a payment towards this loan, but we want to show the true balance of what we really owe. So let's do that extra step. Let's come back to the banking bank feed. All right. Now what you could do to, um, this is more kind of what's easier for you. So you can either click on it. So I'm going to put it back Let's say that you entered it by accident and you realize, oh wait, I put the whole thing in. I didn't account for the interest part of that payment. So you can come here. So we're in the credit card categorized tab and then find it where you, we already entered it. So that's why it's in categorized. Then find it on the list and click on the link. It will open it up. And we don't, this is for another topic. So we'll close this. All right, and then for us, then what we can do here, we can just open it up from that link and then we can fix it from here. So we can say, okay, yes, we did pay $150 to the lender, but only a hundred of it. So notice right now the total is 150. And if you go on the top left, it's 150 is what came from the bank. So we're gonna say, we're gonna find out the information from our lender. So this part, don't just you know, uh, split it however you want. This you'd actually need to get from your lender and find out how much did they decide went toward principal and how much toward interest. So for us, we look at the, the table that, um, or the list that our lender gave us. So they gave us a list to tell us how much each payment was interest. So we're gonna use that list to split this up. So $100 of our payment actually went toward reducing our loan balance. $50 of it went toward interest. Now you, you probably have a category called interest paid. So in our sample company, it's not here. I'm gonna create it. And in case you don't have it, you'll do this as well. So we're gonna say add new account type, expense, and this is 
oh, you know, actually it's other expense. So on account type, it's other expense, detail type. And then we're gonna find it on our list and I'm not, I'm overlooking it. All right, maybe it's back on expenses. It used to be on here, let's see. There it is, okay. <laughs> overlooked it, but here you'll find it on expenses and then interest paid. All right, and then in the name, just call it interest paid. All right, Some um, you might have it where it's called interest expense, but it's the same, same thing, interest paid or interest expense, save and close. So again, that's if you needed to create that category, but you probably already have it. Okay, so interest paid. This is where we're gonna put the amount of the interest. So notice our total. The total is 150. That's the amount that downloaded from the bank, 150. That's how much we spent and sent to the lender. But this was loan interest for January payments, repayments. All right, but it does total up to 150. Another reason and motivation for you to take this extra step is usually if you split up the interest, usually that will be tax deductible. So just double check that with your CPA, um, but usually that is, um, that is the case. So that's a good reason why you would want to split up the interest from the loan, but also it keeps the balance, the loan balance showing an accurate amount. So let's come back, We've now we've split it. Let's come back to accounting, chart of accounts, go down to liabilities, find our loan, let's view the register. And now we can see, okay, this is the correct amount. We have a loan for this much and only $100 of our payment went toward it. So this is the true amount that is left on this loan. All right, and then interest, you'll see interest over on the profit and loss report profit and loss. So I went to reports profit and loss and then come down to expenses interest paid. And if you click on the amount, it'll show you everything in that category for the time period you've selected. And there's our $50. So you'll have the $50 or your interest on your profit and la on loss. So your accountant will have that information for taxes, but then you can also see what's truly left on on your loan and we'll see that also on the balance sheet. Here it is under long-term lender loan and there's is our remaining balance. All right, so that is how to create or record a loan in QuickBooks Online and then how to record the loan repayment. In case you don't use the bank feed, so if you that's all you need, then that's it. But for those of you who don't use the bank feed, um, this part you'll need because you can go to plus new at the top and record the repayment here. So you'll go to, um, well, first you'd have to create it. So let's come back down. If you don't have the bank feed feature, or maybe this loan um, was from a different uh, earlier time before you started using the bank feed. So, or before you even got QuickBooks. So come to the chart of accounts, click new, click new, and then you'll create this loan from here. So let's say, let's say it's an, a long-term liability, other long-term, and this is another loan. And here, this is easy to miss, but click on this where it says starting date and opening balance. Click on that, it will expand and just say, when did you get this loan? So, you know, you can put in a date, or maybe you just are starting to use QuickBooks now. So you wanna show more the balance, the current balance of your loan. And for that, you will need to um, probably log into your lender's website and somehow get that information of what was the balance of the loan as of the start of the year, if that's when you're starting to track it or if it's some other date. So find out what's the beginning balance as of the date you're starting to track it. So let's say, Let's say we're just getting QuickBooks, so we're starting to enter things for this year. So as of the start of this year, let's say the loan was $1,000. That's 
That's the current balance as of the start of the year. So then we'll enter that, save, come down, and here's the one we just created manually, and view register, and here it looks the same. So we're increasing this loan by a thousand, or just this is the beginning balance as of the start of the year. Now, when you're ready to record repayments, if you are not using the bank feed, then you can manually just come to plus new in the top corner, then click on expense, or if you wrote a check, you can choose check, but either way, it's gonna look, look the same. Expense, and then here you'll just manually enter the same information. So for us, it was that, that insurance company where they go. Here we go. And we don't need that. All right, and let's say that you made a payment towards this loan today, and then we'll do the same thing. So we'll search loan loan and then let's say that you made let's say that you made a $300 payment and let's say that 200 of it was towards the principal to reduce the loan balance and interest paid there it is interest paid so let's say on this loan you made a $300 payment repayment but 200 was for interest, 100 was for, or I'm sorry, 200 was for the principal, 100 was for interest. And then you can fill in a description of what you want to say here, or you can fill in the memo as well. Save and close. All right. And notice when we come back to the chart of accounts and the register for the loan, we see our balance of the loan as at the start of the year and our repayment, but just the principal portion. And now we can see, okay, this, this loan has 800 left on it. And you would also see that on the balance sheet as well. All right, so that's how to manually record a loan and the repayment of loan. All right, so I will see you in the next video. Have a great day, bye.